All right. So I just received my package today from uh, Apex Gun Parts, and uh, I ordered a set of uh, hand grips for the Yugo. Um, I guess I didn't read it right because I thought it was just one, but apparently it was three. So they sent it, and uh, it, they said it would have trench art, and it does have trench art. So this one is my favorite piece because it's the only one that actually has real writing. As you can see over here, and that's spray paint on my fingernail, yeah, I know. So it looks like it says Muhammad. And it's fairly recognizable in English. And then uh, over here, it's a, sorry, that's my son and wife screaming in the background while he's taking a bath. Anyway, that right there, uh, B-A-H-K-O. We looked it up in Cyrillics, and the B is actually said like a V. So it, uh, what this says is uh, Vajko. The H is a J. So Vajko is what that says. Um, some soldier carved this in by hand while in the trenches, which is why it's called trench art. So um, something's carved over here, but Sulo maybe? Hard to say. So uh, I've been washing this. That's why the weird wood looks like weird colors. I've been washing it tr uh, with oil soap, trying desperately to get this uh, really thick coat of, I don't know if it's cosmoline. It smells like crayons but it's everywhere look at that nasty stuff so I gotta do a lot of cleaning but the other really cool piece in all of this is the top handguard it's got a picture of a woman stuck on a little sticker so obviously some soldiers stuck some little like you know it's not even a nudie photo she has a shirt on stuck it on his, uh, his rifle I just thought that was the coolest thing so these top ones actually don't have a ton of Cosmoline on them. They're just like skimmed them, which is cool. Because I kind of want to just leave it alone. And then whenever I do put it on a rifle, just not touch it. You know? Um, leave it with its original. I'm going to go for like a historical kind of uh, thing with the next one. So that is the handguard. And... Uh, Here's the uh, pistol grips. These, uh, they saw some use, you know, just like the uh, advertisement said. They definitely saw some, uh, some hard, hard time. You can see they're just scratched up and look like they've been used. Which is uh, what I like to see. So when I do my build, it will be period correct. These are from the Balkan Wars. I'll do a little more research and uh, find out exactly what kind of conflict that was and uh, what exactly was happening and, you know, what's going on with all that. Um, as we all always hope with these, you hope this was not pulled out of a dead man's hands, as my friend so assholingly would say. But as far as I know, they uh, they don't rip guns out of dead guys' hands and then mail them to stores. They actually take those and do something else with them. So he's an asshole. Anyway, won't get into that. So these are my pieces. This one's got a little little e carved into it. But and then looks like they I don't know what that says there. Looks like it, maybe they were trying to put Kosovo or something. I don't know. But once I uh, clean them up and then oil them. You'll be able to see that stuff, hopefully, a little better. I'm going to try really hard to not damage the wood at all. So, these are my uh, Balkan Wars pieces. There they go. Thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, Yugo M70 is what they're for.